Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maurice Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City, or of course, Animal Crossing City Folk, and we have some mail! Hopefully we have some mail from our villagers, because we did send out like three messages yesterday, hoping to get some items in return, because we attached some fruit and some spare carpets and things like that, just to get rid of some of the items we didn't want. Uh, but it is Friday, so I don't know if anything new is happening. Uh, so we probably should go, the first thing we should probably do actually is go and check, hey Gigi, we should probably go and check um, Nook's Cranny, see if there's any items we want. But also, I was thinking it's time to see if we can actually go to the city. Hey, are you actually going back home? Hello there, Mori. I'm glad to see you're gracing us with your fine presence. See, see, oh, see, see, I thought she was about to say, use the sea stick or something. Cook, cook, cold, too cold, freezing cold. I know saying it's cold just makes you feel even colder, but it's so cold, I can't help chattering. Ah, oh, maybe the frogs feel the cold a little worse than the other villagers. They, maybe they used to be in slightly warmer water, I don't know. Uh, but, oh, look, our trees are nearly fully grown now. I guess one more day and they'll be fully grown. Um, but before, oh no, one of our flowers mysteriously disappeared. Uh, okay, before we try and go to the city, let's see what Tom Nook has available for us today. Hopefully there's um, some furniture in here. We've got a little bit of money. Welcome, please, please browse all you like. Oh, we've actually got some beds in here and a lovely vanity, I think that is. But I'm more interested in the bed at the moment, actually. Yes, the basic blue bed. It costs 200 bells. We cannot argue with that, can we? Quite a bargain. Will you buy it? We're going to buy it because we need a bed, <laughs> basically. Although, technically, we've got a bed upstairs in the attic, which we haven't even seen yet. Um, okay, let's. while we're in here, we need to check out the floor and the carpet. Ooh, ivy wall. I love the ivy wall. Quite expensive, though. 1,250 bells. Let's see it. Yes, it's always a favourite. Um, I'm tempted to, but what if we need the money to go to the city? Maybe there's something there. Let's save this until we get back, actually. I think that's what we'll do. Um, just in case we need some money up in the city. Um, oh, we can buy a net today. Okay, we'll, we'll do that in a little while as well. Um, thanks much for shopping. Come again soon. Hmm? Yeah, we, I don't know if there's anything actually to do in the city this early in the game. And and it's kind of strange because the game hasn't even told us it exists. So I was kind of, the reason I left it so long is I was kind of waiting for the game to be like, oh, by the way, you can use the bus again to go to the city. Because how else would you know? Other than like it's the name of the game. But yeah, I kind of expected the game to tell us. So I'm just going to check there's no one at the town hall plaza. Uh, I don't think there will be, but I was kind of expecting one day for tour timer or someone just to be like, oh, hey, by the way, you can use the bus. Uh, so, oh, Rod, hey, you've actually moved moved in fully now. Yo, uh, Maury, dude, it's nice out. Got to get some rays. Uh, it's been like forever since we had a big event. Maybe I should suggest a new one to the mayor. Like a huge festival for doing magic tricks. Wouldn't that be wicked? I'm a certified instructor so I can teach everyone how to be a pro. That would be pretty cool. I'm down for that kind of event. Everybody loves magic. <laughs> but yes, we also, we got so much to do. We could check out the museum. We could check out Able Sisters. Uh, talk to the villagers, see if we can get any work done or any favours maybe. We also need to go into that building there. I don't think there's much in there, but I know... Uh, Corporal Booker's in there, I think. But let's see if we can go to the city. Can we read the... Oh, bus to the city. Want to take the bus. Is it going to charge us? Okay, to the city. Oh, here it comes. Hey. <laughs> hey, Captain. Are you taking us to the city? Oh, someone else is on the bus. Is that Rover? Are we going to see the Rover on the bus? I guess that makes sense. Um, so we, hopefully we're just going to travel up to the city now. I don't know if we have to talk to Rover. Yeah, we do. Oh, that's such a cool view. Oh, Maury. Oh, hey. Fancy seeing you on the bus. Ha, I knew that was you. Are you heading to the city to do some shopping? Well, maybe if there's any shops open, I don't know. Perfect timing then. There was something I was hoping to ask you. Uh, I know this is sudden, but it's also very important, so listen up, okay? 
In this game, you can communicate with friends by connecting to Wii systems over Wii Connect 24. Oh, well, you we used to be able to. <laughs> Uh, I think you still can with homebrew, but we'll have to look into that. Using this feature, you can send letters directly to friends who have registered on your friend roster. Or you can send messages to the Wii message boards of friends whose Wii numbers you have. Oh, well, does anyone still use this? Let me know in the comments. Uh, on top of that, out of the blue of your friends, uh, out of the blue, your friends' neighbours can move to your town and become your neighbours. What? They might share stories about happenings in your friends' towns. Wait, are we talking about villagers here? Even when you aren't playing, it can feel like your towns are connected. Not only that, but you can also periodically receive letters and presents from Nintendo. Are you interested in using this feature? Of course, you can always change your selection later. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Is it, it's not going to let me do it, is it? We'll just say use it. Got it. It's probably going to like be like, oh, this is no longer a thing. <laughs> Uh, I'll get things ready for you to use then. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. One last thing. A rover can really talk in this game. <laughs> uh, if you turn this feature on, your animal neighbours could move to other towns and show people any letters you've written them. Uh, privacy issues. <laughs> so be sure not to include any personal information or rude in your letters. Um, if you ever want to turn this feature off, just choose before playing at the start of the game. Or you can call me on the telephone in the attic of your house. Well, this is the longest bus drive in the world. Um, so on that note, have a fun hanging out in the city. Oh, there we go. So it's not going to tell us that the feature's actually discontinued. I thought it was going to throw some kind of error, but I guess it just quietly in the background didn't. Oh, look, there's the fountain. That's so good. We have arrived in the city. We've got, ooh, lots of villagers. I, can, I didn't realize villagers would be walking around. Can we get them to move into our town? Or are they just doing a little bit of shopping? I'm excited to see what's actually unlocked. Hey, so what have we got here? Shampoo and all? What is this? I kind of, I'm too scared. Are they all available? Oh, that, there's Kicks. Hey, Kicks. What's this? Gyroid. Gracie Grace. Uh, what's this? This must be the Happy Room Academy. Uh, oh! That's like the theatre thing. Okay, and it doesn't look like... Oh, there is some more shops here. Wow, we've got a lot of things to unlock. Wow, okay, let's talk to the villagers. Mint! Oh, I love the squirrel villagers. There's something about the big city that I really like. I wonder if I can figure out a way to live here. Oh, Bob, hey. <laughs> I was going to get some cash from the old bell point. Then I remembered if I want to take out cash from my account, there's got to be some in there first. Yeah. Oh, well, if you watch this far in the video, comment Bob's gang. <laughs> yeah, that's a little O2 crossing channel there. Um, who else have we got in the village? Wendy! Someday I want to work in a city like this. Maybe I'll like open up a fro-fro restaurant called Chow Down Moriland. And we'll have the hottest waiters in town. It'll be perfect. Go for it. We want this town to be thri- or this city, sorry, to be thriving. Hey, I've forgotten your name. Avery. Uh, I always stop by the Happy Room Academy. Um, to check out the model rooms they've got on display. Wait, they've got model rooms on display? It feels like I'm peering into someone's home through a tiny window. I love checking out the latest... Oh, wait, you're just copying what Avery said. I love stealing the latest decorating tips. Cool. Is that it? Have we spoke to everyone? And this is obviously the water fountain, isn't it? That's, I believe that's Serena, isn't it? He can actually meet, I think, in this game. Okay, let's see what Kix has to say. Do we have to donate Kix money? All right there, young sir. Fancy a shoe shine? It's 500 bells and you'll see your reflection in them. Um, oh, oh, what if we need the money? Okay, we'll do a little shoe shine. All right, first, uh, one first class shine coming right up. Just tell me how you want your shoes. I can match them by color. Or I can match them to the style you're going for. What it'll be? What? We can change by color? Go by color, I guess? All right, you got it. One set of shoes in your color coming right up. Wait, 
Do I change our shoe color? Wow! And here we have it! What do you think? Pretty doggone dapper, if you do say so myself. That's a that's a mouthful. Uh, now, if you don't mind, that'll be 500 bells. Wow, that's like the easiest 500 bells you've ever made, Kix. I had no idea our shoes would change color. That is absolutely hilarious. I can't wait to buy some shoes, new shoes. Okay, so what should we check out first? I kind of want to check out Gracie Grace, but I guess we should just check every door. I don't know what is literally behind each of these doors. Um, so, oh, Katrina's here. That's so weird. Kihamo <laughs> Ata. Okay, so we can get our fortune rate anytime. Welcome, lost one of the Virgo sign, traveler of many winding roads. I can unravel the threads of destiny that surround you. Well, this is all a bit, this is so weird having Katrina available like instantly. Um, I will foresee your future or reveal the charm that lies hidden for just 100 bells. Um, oh, that's interesting. I'm okay for the moment. We're gonna have to do some research to see the benefits of getting our fortune read. Um, and I'll, they'll give, we don't want to do everything all at once, do we? But ah, knowing such secrets may also cause a virtual deluge of happiness. Um, be content in your choice. May the stars align for you. Farewell. Okay, we'll definitely come back. The colors are very strange in that room. A uh, very weird atmosphere. <laughs> um, okay, so oh, I, I guess that kind of does look like a fortune telling thing on the front there, doesn't it? So Shampoodle, I guess that's where we can do like hairs and stuff. So we'll check out these maybe another time. I'm interested to see what's in here. The, a gyroid icon. I can't remember. I should know. Hmm, yes, yes, welcome to the auction house. Oh, yes, I totally forgot about the auction house, my good man. Uh, shame and heartache, but we are currently preparing for the next auction. The next display period will last for two days and begin on the 7th of January at 6 a.m. Oh, tomorrow. Nice, so we have to come back tomorrow to check out the auction house. That's so cool. A thousand hearty thanks. Do come again soon. Oh, we will definitely come back tomorrow for that. Um, oh, wait, does KK perform tomorrow as well somewhere? Oh, hey. Oh, it happened again. I got tricked into buying a counterfeit painting. Wait, Red's here. Is he? You can't trust Red's shop no matter what that smooth talker says. Oh, all the villagers have changed. Kiki, hey. I never notice it when I'm walking around back home, but my shoes are filthy. You know what I need? A shoe shine. Well, your luck is in because Kix is right over there. Okay, so where where does... Uh, Red must be in this dodgy shop over here. <laughs> this looks a bit suspicious, doesn't it? Who there, friend? Oh, Red doesn't recognize you. I don't think you're one of our members, right? Our top priority here is trust. That's why we're members only. Of course, if someone referred you, that's a different story. You got an invitation? Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe it's best at the moment not to have an invitation. I feel like he's uh, he's trying to scam some people. Okay, we've got to check out Gracie Grace Fashion whilst we're here. I don't think Gracie will be here. And I don't think they sell furniture just yet. Because uh, I think Disable work here as well, doesn't she? Oh, Label. Welcome to the Gracie Grace, where we specialize in wearable art. Oh, let's see. Oh, uh, oh wow! All the furniture is here already! This is so weird, like in New Leaf you have to work so hard to unlock this store and then to be able to buy this furniture. This is like my favourite set, just look how beautiful it is! We're never going to be able to afford this. How much is the this? Oh, this little treasure is a gorgeous chest! You can coordinate it with matching carpet and wallpaper to really tie a room together. Yeah, this is going to be like... 100,000 bells or something. What? Ah, yes, this beauty costs 90,000 bells, but it's a smart price, to, a small price to pay for quality. If only we had that much. We are never going to get that much. This stuff is only here for winter, I think. So this is going to start disappearing in the next couple of weeks. That's a real shame. I can't believe it's here already. I feel like you would have to unlock this stuff. It, that's so strange to me that it's available straight away. But it's, it's pretty cool, I guess. Wait, what's this? 
can we is this a counter can we buy this is this just for show oh okay it's just for show i don't think we're going to be able to afford any of this stuff it's all pretty cool though maybe we should check out what is in the able sisters first hey there's simply nowhere better than gracie's when you need that perfect outfit, Snappy. Yeah, look at that tux. Very nice. I'm guessing that's the gorgeous carpet and that. Wow, we're going to have to do some serious saving, aren't we? We definitely need to go find the money rock. Um, thank you for stopping by. Well, actually, there's probably only one shop we didn't check out. So we may as well go in there. And that's the Happy Room Academy, isn't it? Um, although we didn't get our fortune read, but that's okay. So that's the auction house. Oh, we haven't been in Shampoodles yet, but I'm not in too much of a hurry to do that. Oh, there's still two rooms. That's the theatre thing. I forget what it's called. Um, but let's check out the Happy Room Academy. Um, just so we get an idea of what it looks like inside. Lyle, we got a letter from you. Hey, you, wait, listen. Hold it. Stop. Just stop. Oh, Lyle needs to talk at you for a second. Oh, no. More dialogue. <laughs> Me, I'm Lyle. This place, my name, the Happy Room Academy. But enough about me, let's talk about you. Your name, Maury. <laughs> Bang. Ha, old Lyle got you, didn't he? It's so, it's so, it's so quick and to the point, isn't he? Um, listen, you homeowner, right place in Moryland. Pick a fence, wife and kids, live in the dream. Lyle used to have dreams. Lyle used to have it all. Oh no, what happened? What is Lyle's backstory? <laughs> Big car, corner office, bang. Then it all went to pot. Know that uh, what a boss said? Offices are for closers. Guy busted my chops, you believe it? Wait, did you get in some legal trouble? What? I'm really interested to know Lyle's backstory now. Do we have any details on that? Yeah, but enough, right? Right, my problem's mine, not yours. Let's talk. Letter mine, you got it? Uh, read every word. Don't kid old Lyle now. You really read that letter? Bang, still got it. Lyle still got the touch. Uh, and they told me it was all what I was washed up. No, don't worry. We read our letters very carefully, Lyle. You don't have to worry about that. Anyway, enough. Let's go. Uh, let's talk. You, me, brass, tax, the skinny, the sit. Here it is. Houses are work, right? Sure. Get furniture. Sit it here. Or oh, set it here. Set it there. Move it around. Worry some more. If it doesn't look good, you don't feel good. Uh, but how do you know where it's right? Instantly. Wait, is feng shui a thing in this game? So we're going to have to, can we get feng shui points for our room layouts? Is that right? Um, and that's where I come in. Did I say me? I meant we, us, this place, the Happy Room Academy. We show you how to make rooms good rooms. Rooms you can be proud of. Happy rooms. Uh, are they happy? You seem a bit like you've had about 10 Red Bulls today. I'm not going to lie. Here's the deal. This Academy exclusive. Members only. Very chic, all that. Uh, but you, good people, we like you. You should join. Come on, join the Happy Room Academy. Wait, is this going to cost money? Good choice. Excellent. Glad to hear it. See, uh, see a ball take the horns. Am I right? Bang. Ah ha ha. Okay, here's the deal. We're going to be checking out your room, looking at colours and furniture and whatnot. And when we're done, we'll give you a report. Tells you how to snazz up the joint. Not home, out. About? Doesn't matter. We'll let ourselves in. We got keys. Lots of them. Thousands. I would love to see Lyle trying out a thousand keys in front of our house. <laughs> uh, you're worried, don't be. This academy, legit. Above board, totally legit. Wait, if someone tells you it's legit more than twice, it's starting to sound a little bit sketchy. Oh, wait, there's more themes. We got themes, new ones each month, decided by me. Right here in the back, there's a model room. Shows the theme, gives you ideas, all that. Your room could be there, could be the model room. If we like it, we'll pick it. Easy, right? Wow, we could be a room celebrity. What's that, me? And you want to know about me? You ain't going to bust my chops or nothing, right? Yeah, well, okay, sure. Meet and greet, why not? Me, I'm Lyle, chairman of the Happy Room Academy. This wasn't always my job. I used to be somebody. Big shot, important. But stuff happens, yeah. Yeah, oh, poor Lyle. Um, enough about old Lyle. Welcome aboard, Marie. You, me, us, together. Together? <laughs> Thrilled. Okay, can we check out the model rooms then? I'm really interested to see what these look like. I don't think I've ever been in here. Even the short time that I actually did play this game at launch. Oh, there's only one room. Wait, is this house? This house is already bigger than ours, isn't it? Is there any way that we can, like, take things or... 
Oh, it just tells us what it is. Okay, exotic table. Nice. Mega Oboid. So it's the exotic furniture with a Titani rug. It's actually pretty cool. Maybe our house will feature here one day. <laughs> we can hope. We can hope. Okay, that's enough from you, Lyle. We, we need to go and check our mail back in our town. Um, so I'm guessing there's... Some upgrades we can do here. I'm a bit shocked to see everything open. I thought it would have to be like, you know, after you've upgraded Nooks, Gracie would move in, then the auction house would appear after like a month of playing or something like that. Uh, we've got all new villagers here again. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought that was Rod for a second. I guess the prize guy isn't around now. Uh, and I was all, wait, prize guy? I was always excited about getting a blue from him or a pinwheel or even some bubbles. Wait, the prize guy? Who's the prize guy? Interesting. I like the fact that the villagers change like as you come in and out of the shops. And it kind of makes you want to talk to them before you go into shops as well, so that's pretty cool. So I'm guessing after enough shoe shines, kicks will move in. But do the rest upgrade, or is this is this kind of like already unlocked? That's so that's such a weird mechanic. I, I feel like that's a really missed opportunity. Okay, let's head back. We need to check our mail. How do we, how do we act, there we go. <laughs> Bus to Moriland, want to go to Moriland? Take me home, please. Ah, oh, look how cute we are, patiently waiting for the bus. There we go, we'll have to talk to Rover again. Hopefully he doesn't ramble on uh, too much this time. Because we could do with just kind of getting back to Moriland, checking our mail, and then going to buy the Ivy wallpaper, because we do want to spend um, as much money in Nook's Cranny as possible as well. Hold just a moment now. Your face! You rode the bus out to the big city earlier, did you not? Yeah, like five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. Nah, I could never forget your big goggly eyes, all sparkling with adventure. So tell me, how'd you fare? In the city is me meaning. Kappa's dialogue is always a tricky one to uh, read out. Um, so, now we're back in Moriland in a few seconds. There we go. We're going to head to our mailbox because hopefully we've got some items from the villagers. Um, and I also want to know the town development in the town hall, the town fund. Do we have to donate that all at once? So, it turns out we need 200,000 bells for a bridge. Do we have to do donate all that at once or can we just do like bit by bit? Because there's conflicting information on the internet. Right. Anyway, let's check out our mailbox real quick. Only one reply. I forgot we have to use this sometimes. Um, okay, let's uh, get our pockets open. Oh, I forgot we've got the fossils. Oh, from the snowman. Uh, snowman Snowmaniac. <laughs> Maury, even the hottest of dishes will be instantly chilled when placed on this snowman table. Doing, uh, down with warmth from the snowman. Oh, we got a snowman present. A snowman table, according to the letter. Yep, snowman table. Okay, we should probably check to see if there's any fossils. Oh, look at the moon. It's funny because it's a full moon. And in real life, today, it's a full moon. I saw it outside earlier. Okay, let's go and... Oh! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Octavian! Oh, Octavian's moving in. Hey. With looks like mine, I've got a hunch I might even make the list. You know what I'm saying? This will be the year I finally hit number one on the precipitation monthly's list of ineligible snow bachelors. <laughs> wow, this game is a real mouthful today. So we've got another villager moving in, Octavian. Interesting, so pretty much a, sort of the first few days of living here, you get a new villager every day. Okay, I was hoping to see some fossils around here. I don't know if there's a limit on how many we can get appraised. I still don't know if we have to send them off or if Blathers appraises them. Wait, where's the bridge around here? Oh, the bridge is low down. Okay, that's the best place for a bridge. Um, haven't seen any fossils yet though, so... 
It's so weird getting used to... Oh, there's one. I was going to say different mechanics. There we go. Look, I uh, look at that, I dug up a fossil. And of course we like to fill our holes in, there we go. And um, we may as well save our fossils for a museum visit. Is that a fossil? Oh no, slight grass deterioration in the corner. What? But I'm really loving this. I, I There's so much I want to, oh, we found a pitfall. Nice, there's so much I want to do, but at the same time, I really just want to take it easy and just enjoy it. Um, Cause that was the one thing, oops, about the GameCube. Uh, series that we did. I absolutely love it. It's my favorite version, but I really regret like Getting through all the stuff we needed to do so quickly. So Oh look how small the snowman is. What is that even? Can we talk to it? Oh Well, at least you can tell I'm a unique handmade snowman. None of those mass-produced ones I'll never be the best looking guy on the block, but I can still lend a long and lead a long and fulfilling life Oh, that's the sweetest thing ever. What is even the tiniest snowman in the world? I had no idea <laughs> they shrank like that. But yeah, so I, I kind of like just walking around, uh, exploring things. That's why I didn't want to go into every single shop in the city. Because if we did it all today, we'd have nothing to do next week. Even though it sounds like we need, we've got so much work to do with bells. Uh, we may have to grind the bells outside of episodes, maybe, if we want to start unlocking things. Uh, but let me know if there's anything in the city that I should look out for. Is there stuff that we can unlock? Like, does, does any shops get upgraded? At some point, we're going to have to get Red's membership. Upgrade Kix's store, I'm guessing. Um, but it seems weird that the rest are already there. Okay, we're looking for one more fossil. I think there was only three a day. Um, oh, we seem to be having a lot of weeds today. Whoa! Oh! The pickup button is also the run button. Oh, there it is. So it's nice to go different ways to different areas because then the grass will take longer to deteriorate, so... So there we go. We'll definitely, we've got a whole bunch of um, fossils now. Six fossils, three from yesterday, three from today. So we'll definitely probably check out the museum tomorrow. I don't know what the situation with the roost is. I know it's in this game. Uh, maybe that's in the museum or maybe we have to unlock it. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll check that out tomorrow. And of course, we'll probably go and get a new outfit tomorrow as well because I don't like this BB shirt anymore. Um, so yeah, I, actually I might just quickly buy the wallpaper because uh, I do like that ivy wallpaper. I can't remember if we, what one we've got for our wall. Um, so we'll just buy this because we do want to spend some money in the nooks. In the nooks. <laughs> uh, an ivy wall, a mere 1,250 bells. I'll take it. Um, we've only got 800 bells left. But we'll just see what carpet we've got here. A round carpet. We haven't got enough, but let's see it. Oh, that is a round carpet, but I, I don't really like that. Uh, never mind. Uh, oh yes, very good, yes, maybe something else. No, that's it for now, and I guess that's a good place to wrap it up today. We finally got to see the city. Um, very surprising, my take from it is that the game doesn't tell you about it, you kind of just have to find out for yourself, which I guess is the same for lots of things. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to have to do a lot of research about the shops, and where we need to donate bells, and how much money we're going to have to spend, so there's still a lot to do, of course, uh, but we're just taking our time discovering these things, so I hope you're enjoying it that way, but if there is anything specific you'd like to see, don't hesitate to put it in the comments to let me know. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll probably check out the museum tomorrow. Thanks, of course, to the channel members for making this happen, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!